Hello everyone. So today we are going to see implicit cursor. In the previous videos we have seen the explicit cursor. If you didn't watch that video then watch that video. So implicit cursor. So these cursor are declaring by the Oracle server by default. We need not to declare this cursor. This will be uh, implicitly declared by the Oracle. So Oracle declared this cursor after execution of DML commands that is insert, update or delete. So after execution of uh, these commands, Oracle declares this cursor. So implicit cursor telling us the status of the last DML command whether it is successful or not. So it will tell us the status whether the uh, DML commands are successful or not. So attributes as we have seen in the explicit cursor these are the same attributes you can see percentile is open it returns true when the cursor successfully opens otherwise it returns false next one is percentile not found that means it returns true when the last dml command is failed otherwise it returns false then percentile found it returns true when the last dml command is successfully executed otherwise it returns false then last one is row count it returns number of rows affected by the last DML command. So, this implicit cursor is for the telling us the status of the last DML command whether it is successfully executed or not. So, let us go and let us see the practical. So, here I will uh, explain by one of the. We'll see. Let me. Here we will see one of the practical by delete. We'll do this. Let us go to here and I have already here a table called employee. Here we can see select star from employee and this is a table we have. Now let me write a PL SQL program here declare. Here we need not to declare the cursor because it will be implicit implicitly created. So declare in this declaration we will create variable variable employee number of data type number of size 10 then this is done now execution block started with begin now we will take the employee number from the user so for that employee employee number colon equals to ampersand variable employee number right then here we will perform one dml that is delete so how can we write query delet -E delete from which table employee where employee number is equal to variable employee number so we are deleting one of the record by employee number whatever we will the user take so what will happen if this query will be executed successfully in that case only oracle declare this cursor after execution of dml command so implicit cursor telling us the status of the last dml command so if the status if the dml command successfully executed in that case only implicit cursor will be generated by the oracle now let us go here and here so we will see here if sql percentile and here we will uh, use the attribute called found and this uh, this SQL is a implicit cursor name given by the Oracle so in the case of uh, explicit cursor in the declaration we are providing let me write here while declaring declare let me take your red and text yeah now what we are doing in the explicit declare cursor c1 is select star from EMP in the case of uh, explicit cursor we are defining the name as C1 but this is the example of implicit cursor it will be uh, the cursor will be generated by Oracle so the cursor name is given by Oracle and the name of that cursor is SQL so given by the Oracle the name of the cursor is SQL that's why we are using here SQL so SQL and if this query will be executed successfully then here we will check if SQL found 
so let us go here and what is found let us see so what will happen found it returns true when the last dml command is successfully executed otherwise it returns false so that is this is a use of sql so in that case we will print here tbms underscore output dot put underscore line and record deleted success fully we will print this message otherwise else the record is not deleted successfully so let me copy this copy and paste here record record does not exist we will print here record here does not exists and end of the if log end of the execution and uh, let me execute this and here we will give the employee number as we are taking here ampersand now uh, here we can see employee table in that let me take anything what we can take here uh, 7902 here we will take 7902 let me copy this and go here and paste here yeah this is employee number and this exists in our table so let me execute this and here we can see record deleted successfully so if we select no here we can see record is deleted that means our dml command status dml executed successfully that's for this implicit cursor is created so implicit cursor telling us status of the last dml command whether successful or not so here we it is created now if i give the uh, employee number that is not in there this table so in that case the uh, the cursor implicit cursor not created by the oracle because that this query will be not executed if give if we have given the employee number that does not exist in the table so if you given the employee number that does not exist in the given table then this query will be not executed and in that case the implicit cursor will not created so here we can see if i take the employee number 1111 1111 i will take and here we can see there is no 111 employee number with this number here we can see 1111 is no in that in this table so let us go here and let me execute again here we can see if we give here 1111 and let me execute and here we can see record does not exist that means what is happening this if we are checking sql dot found it is uh, throwing what it is it will return false that means this if block will be not executed and when this uh, return false if there is no uh, no data means there is this uh, query will not executed successfully in that case the implicit cursor is not created and it will return false so if block will not executed in that case ex else block is executed and we are getting the result as record does not exist record does not exist because we are giving the employee number that is not present in the given employee table so here whatever we have discussed here so implicit cursor telling us the status of the last dml command or whether dml command whether it is successful or not so this is we have seen if there is a here we are giving the employee number it is existing in the table and that's for it is here we are getting record deleted successfully because because this query is executed successfully that's for this explicit implicit cursor is created and we are getting this record deleted and in the next case we are taking here a employee number that is does not exi exist in the employee table and in that case the implicit cursor will not created so for that this else block is executed and we are getting the message as record does not exist so this is about the implicit cursor